You know, every once in a while, Media Takeout will post a story that's so incredibly funny that <laughs> even if the story is not true, it's so good I just had to share it with you guys. And this time, they really outdid themselves. They posted a story titled, Andy Cohen's a genius. Kim Fields was just fired from Bravo's Atlanta Housewives and is being replaced by Fox News anchor Stacey Dash. You won't believe how much she's making. So, of course, when I read the title, I said, okay, <laughs> this sounds funny as hell. So let me go ahead and click on it and, and read what they had to say. They wrote, and I quote, MediaTakeout.com just got some hot and smoking piece of Atlanta housewife gossip, according to our, <laughs> in capital letters, very reliable sources. The folks over at Bravo just made the biggest signing in Atlanta housewives history. We're told that Stacey Dash has agreed in principle to join next season of the Atlanta Housewives. Now, details have to be worked out and all the other cast members are going to have to take a pay cut in order for Bravo to have enough money to pay Stacy. So it's not a done deal yet. We're told that Stacy has agreed to more than $2 million a season. She'll be the highest paid housewife ever, but one person that won't have to worry about getting a pay cut is Kim Fields. Bravo informed her last week that her services are no longer needed, she got fired. Now, <laughs> when I read this mess, I said to myself, now, first of all, Stacey Dash being on the Atlanta Housewives is not that far-fetched because, you know, they put black chicks who aren't married on the show, who have never been married and may not even have the intentions of ever marrying or being a, an actual housewife so there's always the possibility that they would do something like that to stir up some controversy but two million dollars i don't think nene leaks makes that much a season you got to think about the type of women that watch the real housewives of elena probably pretty liberal black women you know they have a gay male friend voted for barack obama and stuff like that so you might say, well, why the hell would they put Stacey Dash in the show? You got to think about it like this. That would cause a lot of controversy. She would say a lot of dumb shit. There'd be a whole bunch of arguments. It would actually be very interesting. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say MediaTakeout.com probably made this story up. However, whether they made it up or not, putting Stacey Dash in the Real Housewives of Atlanta would actually be in freaking genius. You want to talk about stirring up some shit? You want to talk about causing a lot of controversy? Imagine the conversations that her and Nene Leakes would have. Imagine when politics, religion, or certain social issues were to come up. Stuff that's been in the news or whatever. You got to think about it like this. They're talking about her possibly being on season nine. If you watch season eight, which I think just aired the last episode just this this Sunday that just passed and I think they're going to start the reunion shows either this week or next week anyways if you really think about it in season 8 they've definitely been mentioning black people a lot I'm not trying to say that they've gone like completely quote unquote pro black and I'm not trying to say that they're trying to be social activists or anything but they have you know been mentioning race here and there this season this season eight you know and i noticed it being brought up more than once it was like you know our people or black women or our little black boys or stuff like that they're using certain terms and words and i said hmm you know i, I didn't know whether or not they were being genuine or this is part of you know the storylines like if producers are asking them to talk about certain issues i didn't know what was going on but i did definitely notice it being brought up multiple times during season eight so to have somebody like stacy dash who said you know what forget black history month you know you negroes need to get over the whole oscars thing you know if they want to nominate all white people then psh, i don't care so what you know like that's her attitude she's pro donald trump listen putting stacy dash in the show would definitely keep me tuned in they talked about putting a transsexual on season eight, you know, genital mutilator. But thankfully, they didn't do that. And now 
this next season they're talking about putting Stacey Dash on. Now, this shit right here I will tune in for. Let me know what you think about it all below. Do you think the story is real? Do you think the story is BS? Is it going to make you want to tune in? Is it going to make you want to tune out? Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine.